Well, emotions running high at the trial of a man accused of driving while drunk and then hitting and killing a Boy Scout last year. Today, crucial testimony from one of the scouts injured during the hike that turned tragic. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports now from Riverhead. Deadly moments recalled in painful detail as Thomas Murphy denies he was drunk when he slammed into hiking Boy Scouts. On the stand, 17 year old Dennis Lane told the jury he saw Murphy's SUV coming toward them as he walked in the middle of the shoulder. The car drove over the white shoulder line, did not turn with the curve of the road. I felt like I got hit in the face with a baseball bat. Key testimony because the defense claims scouts wandered into the roadway. These young boys were poorly super. Supervised. They're young boys wearing 50 pound backpacks, walking, according to them, within centimeters sometimes of the, of the road and sometimes in the road. Feet away, victims' relatives wiped away tears. The family of 12 year old Andrew McMorris, who didn't survive. What I found out today is that when Dennis saw the car coming, he knew it was coming, which means Andrew knew it was coming. My client did not leave the roadway. My client was not intoxicated. My client did not drive recklessly. Uh, my client was involved in a very, very tragic, unfortunate car accident. But McMorris says facts tell a different story. After drinking vodka on the golf course, witnesses testify Murphy's eyes were glazed. He smelled of alcohol, was unsteady. We know this man was intoxicated. That's what we know. We can play this game. And it's a game. Murphy's lawyer pressed the scout on safety rules not followed, earphones worn on the hike, suggesting they also ignored rules to stay out of the road. But the young man calmly and confidently testified that six or seven other cars safely passed them, didn't enter the shoulder, and didn't hit them. In Riverhead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Murphy faces up to 25 years in prison if convicted.